Engineering design seems like it's in a whole new phase with the adoption of more and more technology and I'm delighted to have with me from ToffeeX the CEO Marco Petropaoli to tell us more. Marco, great to have you here. Yeah, that's absolutely true. We see now uh, nowadays uh, a big shift in the in the approach on the engineering design. We saw historically probably around uh, 40 uh, years ago there was a big shift from uh, pencil and paper to the digital tool, the CAD tool. Today we are exploring we are um, uh, seeing a new shift towards a powerful tool for two reasons. One is the need of new design, a more sophisticated, intricate design for the big challenges we are facing, net zero, decarbonization, uh, hydrogen application, um, electrification for cars. And the other need is um, mostly to fully exploit the potential of the new manufacturing technique. We have today additive manufacturing is already reliable enough to create critical components for aircraft. But the question is, what is the best design? How can I get the best optimal design for that aircraft to leverage, to exploit the full potential of additive manufacturing in a meaningful time. I cannot stay decades iterating in slow and um, expensive trial and fail approach on R&D cycles. I need a tool that is telling me this is the optimal design. This is the direction for your optimization. So switching the inventive contribution from the human, from the designer, to the machine. This will massively power, this is massively power already and speeding up the R&D all, all the company, especially aerospace, automotive and energy. It's a great starting point, isn't it, for a, a design to say here is in principle and in theory and in reality the starting point. It could be the final point, it could be a good steer for you. But what are the huge advantages that are coming in the way of anybody that is utilising Toffee X? Is massively shrinking the design cycle, reducing the R&D iteration of a matter of 80%, 90%, 100%. So going from years to weeks for a design cycle. Sometimes, but it's not a matter only of accelerating. Sometimes accelerating makes the go-to-market the time to go to market actually meaningful. In some, in some contexts, expecting a go-to-market of a decade makes the application not relevant anymore. But shrinking this to months makes uh, is a completely different uh, scenario. Yeah, it's a bit of a game changer, isn't it? All this uh, cause and effect and trying to work through all the, all the different nuances of what you're designing is, is so important. And if you can shrink that time, the world opens up even yeah. more. And not only shrinking the time, but sometimes it's really enabling something that only driven by human intuition and human experience wouldn't be possible. The design, the component optimized by Toffee, really follows the physics and not surprisingly, they really resemble like a human structure because they are emulating the physical principles that in a billion of years um, really shaped the nature and our body. Um, so they are, they are complex and they are, I would say, out of the human imagination. So it's a combination of speeding up uh, massively the design cycle, but also enabling and reaching a solution that wouldn't be possible otherwise. So we should really touch on what's being done within the aviation, within aerospace that's, uh, that's working with Toffee X. What are you guys working on or working with that is going into the, this world that we live in here, yeah. in the aviation industry. So, uh, as you know, as everybody uh, probably knows, uh, the aviation is one of the market uh, which is more active in terms of innovation for obvious reason. Um, we need to decarbonize uh, the aviation and uh, this involves um, a very broad new uh, redesign and reshaping of aircraft from scratch sometimes and uh, or improving uh, the existing concept uh, and we are not talking only about aircraft uh, but also about drones uh, and drones that can you know uh, bring humans and transport humans so um, it's a mix of improving uh, combustion improving uh, coolant system uh, improving uh, uh, the thermal management uh, of batteries in this scenario toffee has a very large um, very large application. Um, we work on uh, uh, proving uh, Toffee can shrink the volume of an heat exchanger of about 70%. Imagine how transformational is this, knowing, even just knowing that when I'm designing the new 
aircraft, I can consider the space from my text changer to be 70 times uh, smaller. Or uh, imagine uh, in the case of the thermal management for batteries, uh, Toffee can not only reduce the energy you need to flow the refrigerant, but can guarantee more uniform temperature. This reflects on the life and the safety of the battery. Imagine for a drone, you can guarantee higher um, life of the battery, uh, but also uh, a battery that lasts longer. This is uh, an ingredient that is needed to make the step forward. It certainly is when we talk about weight for a drone, for and example, that's a key thing. If the weight <laughs> yes. stays the same, but the, 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 the power can go up or the lifetime, the life cycle of that power can last longer, it's going to open up a lot of um, possibilities. Exactly. Finally, then, what about the future? How do you see what you guys do at Toffee X moving on down the line? I see Toffee to be a very important uh, and a fundamental tool uh, in the hands of the engineers um, to power, to augment the existing uh, software that are already in the design workflow of the engineers. So um, I see Toffee to be used more uh, vertically from uh, many kind of application for getting a lighter component, more efficient component, and more reliable component. So I see Toffee really speed up and pushing, enabling, enabling the, uh, I would say, the energy transition. It's absolutely fascinating. Marco, thank you very, thank much, you very much indeed. Pleasure it was a pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you.